Hey guys, this is just a quick disclaimer before the actual video starts, which is pretty long, but I'm kind of running out of content, so for the next few days I'm going to be uploading like vlogs of like my vacation during Memorial Day, and also my vacation that's coming up soon, which should be fun. But anyways, let's get into this video. Hope you guys enjoy! It's a Tundra and welcome back to another one of my videos today. Um, it's been a long time since I've been here and a lot of stuff has happened. Um, if you saw one of my last videos, I kind of talked about like, you know, I've been busy with like academics and extracurricular activities and a lot has been happening and stuff. So I haven't been as active on my YouTube channel, but that is going to change today. Everything's new, new attitude, new setting. As you can see, new haircut. Well, no, not haircut. Oh my God. Can I just say this quickly? Sorry, this is, um... It's kind of like um, on the side, but like I had a friend and stuff and he always said that like, he always thought this was a haircut and stuff. Cause if you saw my last hairstyle guys, like it was like kind of longer and stuff. My hair is actually, this is my natural hair. It's longer than what I had before, but people like, I, as soon as I like take it off, like people are like, wow, your hair is so like short. It's not that short. And it's like, it's not a haircut. It's just braided down. So it looks shorter. But if I actually took it out, it's like a lot of hair guys. Trust me. I, 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 I have a lot of hair, but, um, anyways, a new hairstyle and stuff. Um, I want to incorporate into like the cover art for like my music that's coming out and stuff. So, um, that should be interesting. Um, let's see. Today, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about, like, what has been happening exactly. So you got, like, an idea. And this is kind of just for me to, like, rant and stuff to, like, you know, talk about things that are going on in my life. Have you guys included? So if you didn't know already, I am involved in my school's marching band and stuff. Um, I'm an active member. This is my third year. I joined in my sophomore year. Um, I'm a senior now and stuff, so I've been doing it for a while. Um, due to COVID restrictions, we weren't actually sure if we were going to do it this year because usually it starts in the fall and like beforehand in the summer, I'll have like a band camp and stuff and then we'll do it in the fall. But because of last year with like quarantine and stuff, like we weren't able to do that. Um, especially with the amount of people that were there. There's a lot of us and even with social distancing, there were still concerns and stuff. But um, with a little bit of work from my high school director and like even some of the students and stuff, we were able to petition to get the, um, to get our marching band season back. It was a little shorter. It was a lot shorter than the usual season. It lasted for about, I'd say a month, a month relatively. Like it was like mid April to like the beginning of July. So yeah, like around a month, a little bit of a month. So that was going on. We got that back. I was able to do that. Um, originally it was like starting from it went from Mondays to Wednesdays at a specific time um from six to eight and stuff and I around that time I think I was able to like push out videos a little bit more because I did that I did them ahead of time where I had older content that I was pushing out so that was going on um but as as the weeks went on it wasn't just band camp that was happening too there were AP exams happening for any of you who like are in high school and you have like AP class and you're doing AP exams I understand what you get through it was stressful especially like I don't know what the situation is for some people who are my age in your school district for like my school district it was it was a little bit different they kind of brought it back and you know it, it was a tough thing but you know I was studying for that at the same time that I was having marching band and oftentimes I wasn't able to study because I had marching band or I never really missed marching band to study which looking back I, I probably should even though I, I feel like I did really well on the test anyway but I feel like I could have studied a little bit more and stuff if you know what I mean but I was having I did that and then any time that I wasn't in marching band I was either doing my homework or studying for my AP exams and stuff and then it became harder to do videos and stuff especially on the weekends because I spent like most of my time studying or um kind of just like procrastinating sometimes because sometimes I was just so tired I just wanted to like stay in my room and just watch bts videos like all the time that's just <laughs> that's just who i am um it probably wasn't a good habit but i was just you know i was tired i just want to relax and stuff so i didn't actually like do i didn't feel like doing the videos and stuff i wasn't in the right mindset because i was just so stressed about doing well in my exams doing well in the season because it was different stuff it was a short season so we had to learn much more and you know i'm like a three-year member so i like know most of it but like even with me like 
I'm a little, I'm a little slow. So I like, I kind of forgot some stuff and I had to like learn out a little bit quicker. And also we were learning like drill. The, for those of you who are in marching band, drill is like, we have our show that we perform and stuff. So we learned that the show through drill and stuff. And it gives you like your coordinates to like where your specific spot is in the actual show and stuff like where you're moving to where you're moving from when you're staying still and everything like that um the drill that we have um i don't even know if i find i pretty much i think i threw it all away because i was just so done with it but um the drill we had it was like 18 sets so each set shows you like where you are moving through each count so if you have like four counts like one, two, three, four, that's set one. Set one would be four counts and that's how long you're moving. That's how long it takes you to move from one position to another position or how long you're standing there for, which is at rest and stuff. So we had 18 of those, but keep in mind, even with those, you have like subsets. So it'll be like set one and then there'll be set one A, one B. We have like 18 sets, but we had like 49 pages of drill and stuff. It was a lot. Like. 49 pages because there was like a set 10 a b c d e f and stuff all throughout the alphabet and stuff and then to make it even more difficult we weren't even learning subsets we were just learning from like set one to set two to set three and we were taking those subsets as we we're doing it and some people were like standing some people were moving it was just a really stressful thing and we had to do we had a short time to get it all done plus we had to memorize the music so while we're moving and stuff we had to be able to remember it like what we were playing as we were moving and stuff and of course by the end by the end it wasn't perfect at all but it was it was pretty good and stuff but even while learning it it was it was stressful and stuff it was very very stressful so that was going on i was learning everything um we had like to fill out our dot books and i don't know if some people who do marching band have this dot books or stuff like you um have like your coordinates and stuff and for some people you have to print out smaller i had to print out smaller copies of it and stuff and you have to print out smaller copies and then paste it onto a notebook and stuff and then that's what you carry on you on the field when you're learning drill and stuff um before like first they'll give you like the full page of drill and stuff and that's what you carry the first day the next day you're expected to like either uh cut out that drill and put it into a smaller notebook or you're expected to like um like have it all highlighted and like know where your position is and stuff like that and i like i said had smaller parts of it and i we paste it into the um the um dot books and stuff so we had to do that um then we would have to carry it with us and stuff and we'd have to look through um that when we're on the field and they gave us like they'll be like okay so this is set B, set up set, or not set B, sorry. This is set two, set up set two. So you have to like look through your dot book and stuff and you'd have to find it in your dot book. It will say you should have it written down where you are, where you're moving from, where you're moving to and stuff. And or like if you have the tiny drills and stuff, copies of drills like t pasted into your dot book, then you'll look at that and it'll be like, you know, um, okay, this is where I'm at. And then you have to set yourself up and then, you know, they'll go and they'll, like, practice moving from that set or moving back from that set and, like, stuff like that. But um, anyone who's a marching man, you might understand this. I don't know if you guys do it differently, but <laughs> this is generally, like, what we do for ours. And we, mind you, like I said, we had to learn it in a short amount of time. It was super stressful. They were pushing for it. Sometimes we were there, we'd have longer rehearsals when we were supposed to and stuff. It's just to, like, gain extra time to, like, get through it and stuff. Like, our last, there were, like, we had three songs and stuff. And um, I think we learned, we had our first part of drill, the first 18 sets, that was for the first song, which was Sucker by the Jones Brothers and stuff. And then parts two and three, we had our second song, which is really two songs. It was um, Can't Keep My Eyes Off of You and Living on a Prayer. Um, we had those two songs and they were like together. So the next set of drill that we have were those two songs combined. So we had to learn, we had more time to learn the first song and stuff to figure that out because we had the drill and then the next set of drill we had like a few days to learn it and get it through perfectly and stuff so you know it, it's a fun activity to do but it, it was very very stressful and stuff of just learning at that faster rate but it was like fun because we were all like you know we were all struggling together so it was like it's not just one person it was all of us but um I don't know if anyone from like the group is watching this and stuff but if you're like a rookie you guys did like great and stuff because that that's not your typical season at all like it's nothing like that 
and you guys learned at a fast rate and stuff you know and you know upperclassmen you know you guys did great obviously and stuff like you know, it, it was a lot, trust me. It, it was a lot. And I feel like, especially the upperclassmen who were, like, in leadership positions, they were, like, really professional about it and stuff. They were really good. They, um, better than they were in most years because, you know, some of them were. But anyway, let's not talk about that. But, you know, just to let you know, that was marching band this year. It was a lot. It was a short season, but it was a lot. And that took up most of my time. So often after, like, practices and stuff, it would be two-hour practice, we, like, We'd always be outside, you know, for COVID, like, restrictions. We had to be outside, CDC guidelines and stuff. We always had to be outside. Um, you know, sometimes it was, like, deathly cold and stuff, and people weren't prepared. I know, like, the first time that happened, I wasn't prepared. And then sometimes it'd be, like, super hot and stuff. And, of course, sometimes I wasn't prepared for that, and it was just, it was a lot. And then by the time I came home, all I wanted to do was, like, sleep and stuff. Just go in my room and just pass out and sleep that's one thing i will say about marching man it does make sure you go to bed on time because we like ended at like eight and stuff and like or sometimes even like nine so i think one time we it ended at nine and stuff. i came back i went to sleep and i woke up on time the next day for school that was amazing that, that, that rarely happens but um <laughs> you know it was just to show you like you know it was a lot and by the time even when i wasn't doing it like marching man i was staying for my ap exams and stuff and that took up a lot of time and I was just tired. I was just really tired. I just wanted to like, I don't want to think about videos. I just wanted to sleep, relax, regenerate and just get ready for the next day and stuff. And that went on for the first two weeks I hadn't done videos. And then the next week I just gave like all for myself. Like I just wanted to relax. I wanted to get back in that mindset and be ready to like do videos and like present you guys with like, you know, not like present you with like someone who isn't me like always happy and always you know but like just to, like be in a better mindset set so I'm like able to like do videos I love and enjoy doing and stuff like right now I'm very happy to talk and stuff on camera and tell you guys about this stuff if you had told me to do a video first few weeks I would have probably done it lazily I would have been like hi this is the video hi and that's kind of if you notice for the last few videos that's kind of why I did like I was saying before how I wanted to like do videos like without a voiceover and stuff because, like, during those weeks, that's when, like, March Madness really starting to hit to me. So I was just like, you know what? No voiceover. Just write the stuff down. It's easier and stuff. But no more. I From now on, I am going to start doing voiceovers again and stuff since I don't have much going on. But I will say now that I've been through that and seen how, like, school and extracurriculars take up my time, now I think I'm going to space out my videos and stuff and just put out as much content as I can during that time so that you know I'm ready in case something like that happens and to give myself time to like relax and like still be able to put out videos and stuff and like give myself also time to like get my work done that I have to get done for school and other stuff so yeah that's basically what happened with that sorry if I kind of talked about marching man a lot you know I do love I know sometimes like I don't know what it sounds like to you guys but I, I'm not complaining about it at all like it's a lot. It's a commitment, definitely. For any of you guys, like, if you have March Madness at your school or want to do something like that, it's definitely a time commitment and stuff. But, like, it's really fun, especially, like, if you're surrounded by people. Like, it's not like you're just struggling. I said that before. You're not the only one who's struggling doing marching band. Like, there are other people around you who are new, who are old, who are just, you know, tired. They don't want to do it. But, like, we keep each other going and stuff. It's, a, it's definitely a team effort and stuff. Like, it's kind of like that mentality, like, if one person fails, you all fail. Which is, like, sometimes it's positive, sometimes it's definitely negative stuff. Especially when you have longer practices because of one person. But, like, you know, you're in it together and stuff. And you all want to succeed. You're always, you are always, dri like, driven by that goal for everyone to succeed and stuff, you know? So, yeah, that's... That's basically it. Yeah, that's my little spiel on marching band and stuff. So definitely do it if you want to do it. But, you know, I, I don't want to force you and stuff. Only if you're ready. But anyways, that is it for today's video. I just wanted to talk about what has been going on for the past few weeks and stuff. And what has been going on. Um, also, shout out to anyone who is doing AP exams this year. I know for some people it's not like how it used to be. And even if it is, it's still a lot of work. And, like, I've been through it, like, three times now already? Three times. This is 
I've been doing it three times since last year. I did one exam. This year I had two exams I had to do. It, trust me, it is a lot and stuff. And shout out to anyone who has done it and is done with it. It should be done by now. I had to do a makeup exam um, this week and stuff. But shout out to anyone who had to do it. It is over. You know, you don't have to deal with it anymore. Hopefully your classes are easier. You get to relax a little bit more. Especially those upperclassmen and stuff. You know, it's final year and stuff. And, you know, it's going to get better. So, you know, I hope you guys relax. Enjoy this time. Go outside. Trust me. Go outside. It's You can actually go outside more now. Go outside. It, it'll help you. Like, I was out, like, yesterday. I was out for, like, two hours and stuff. Because I was just... My state of mind was just, I was just tired, I was just off, I just needed to get outside, and I felt so much better. Trust me, go outside. But, um, anyways, that is it for today's video. Thank you much, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can go down below. My TikTok handle is down there. Um, you can go on that handle, and there will be my Q&A, and you can list any comments, um, questions, suggestions for any videos you have. I'm pretty much open to anything as long as it's not inappropriate and stuff. But, um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification button to stay updated on any further content, because trust me, it will be a lot, hopefully, provided that nothing else happens. But even so, I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I hope you guys, um, have a great day, great summer great life um stay fun stay cool stay yummy and i will see you guys in my next video bye